Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be talking about old judo from two decades ago. I did a video recently talking about how it never looked like wrestling, so I got a mixed uh, comment section. Some were saying, some were very supportive, some were saying I cherry picked, and some said something actually that is quite interesting. And they said this was the 80s forward to the 2000s, you'll see something different. Now, I will do the same today, how they countered them, women, lightweight and heavyweights, and uh, one particular category actually did stick out to me, however, they do not define the whole judo expression, a lot of them still practice very much like today, especially the heavyweights, but before I do that, please feel free to check out my recently published book. Uh, the Origins and History of Judo, a translation of a text by Ryohei Uchida from 1903. Link will be down uh, below. So first, let's start with the women. So the whole thing was with the uh, posture and um, look at how the opponent was bent over trying to defend against the very strong grips of the uh, North Korean. So she went for the fireman's carry but of course just like any attacks in judo weak grips w will result in a very weak attack and hence you are very susceptible to counters and here the counter is the obi tori gaishi so because she had a weak grip on the leg and uh, the korean who was actually four times world champion and Olympic champion. Uh, rare to see that from North Korea, but still you see it. Um, here it's against the Spaniard and uh, notice how she just dives into her leg and her sleeve and she just went with the motion and turned it against her. She anticipated the attack. She, you, you can see it uh, closely that she was actually going for a scooping throw, but the leg and the hips already turned and she scooped her up and uh, it's a harai makikomi and look you can see she was going for her legs shooting off the grips and she turned away now um i'm not gonna show everything for obvious reasons i know your time is precious but a lot of those fights a lot of them especially plus 100 they just look like today's judo i'm taking really extreme cases where they go for the legs or where the posture is very much bent over in order to show you uh, you can head over to fighting films and or superstar judo and purchase these world championships um, link will be in the description below so here this uh, i believe georgian fighter again he had a very uh, brutish style and he was going for another scooping throw but the opponent was had a strong core had a strong base very much like uh, when you go against or defend against drop techniques where you keep your base in front of you and push or against uh, leg attacks and uh, he counters with an inner reap and uh, again as the best or the artist of throwing you should be able to attack the entire body and at the same time defend it here again these are the attack these are the examples that i picked out where people are just completely bent over today i'm sure if you dig deep into the fights of today you will still see the same but look regardless of the posture you will still have upper body uh, judo and uh here again uh, this is uh kanamaru uh, Shohei Ono's coach he was fighting in 73 upright posture even if you listen to the commentary Neil Adams um, talks about it so again more fights here they they're, they're looking for the grips they're fighting they're going in it's very dynamic it's not uh, so much like wrestling as, as I should say and also here you have drop attacks Sode Tsurikomi Goshi you have Seo Inage you have everything and leg attacks now to say that the leg grabs are the sole fault or the sole um, factor to punish 
this particular posture I highly doubt it you have people bending over now and even when they're losing the gripping battle they just bend over and even go down on all fours in order to uh, basically restart the fight so you'll have this problem it is a referee's job to assess the attitude of the fighter it is not a technique that should be paying uh, the price here look very desperate attack on the leg got countered and um, you see brilliantly done by the Georgian Sumigaishi on Fernandez and uh, rightfully so like I said weak grips will result in a beautiful counter so why would you eliminate that and again Today you have people hugging each other with their belts and picking each other up like other styles of wrestling that are not in the Olympics, so it's okay. But all jokes aside, you can see that people will just do whatever they want around the rules. Here is again another one, it's the same uh, Georgian and uh, he dives deep. Just like now you have drop attacks, you also have this in the same tournament. So this tournament was very rich. This is the 2007 World Championship. Look at this. This is um, this is the final. It was a brutal final in the 73. Look at this defense. He tries to stay uh, with the core pushing down and staying uh controlled not so much dead weight and here look attacks after attack it was a beautiful fight between the korean and the uh i believe his name is mamadli look drops Nage. you have this richness in in this uh, judo especially 73 historically it is one of the most exciting uh, categories there is here another attack flipping somersaulting tries to go for the leg to catch up but he defends it well so you see you have this richness you have this mobility you have this dynamic judo even when uh you had golden score here i believe it was um recently added and here after he exhausted his his um his options this is deep into golden score golden score was still limited at that time it was i believe five minutes he tried all sorts of attacks finally he goes to morote gari as a last resort or another option that he can surprise his opponent with and he got a coca coca is when you land on your thigh or buttocks and uh, it was very well merited it was a beautiful um, attack and you see there's a difference between a guy who is spamming leg grabs because he wants to avoid the gripping and knows the other guy is better than him and you have a guy who's going for the legs because it's his expression and he has exhausted all the other options and he has engaged and he has shown the will to fight here uh, a leg pick countered by a massive uchimata by tanimoto uh, one of the greatest of that generation as well so you're gonna have this and uh I think the minus 90, this particular category, was the, I would say, the most rigid in that tournament. I tried to look through the plus 100 for, you know, bent over postures and leg picks very rarely. I think maybe uh, an ankle pick or two, but that was it. And uh, here you see someone goes for the leg to pick it up. And then uh, he was countered by an O Soto Makikomi and... Uh, it's a devastating throw. Any Makikomi throw, if done properly, it can lead to oof, a lot of either a great Ippon or if you land on the head, it can be very dangerous. So again, I have to sift through in order to find uh, a hesitative posture. Is that a word? I don't know. But a bent over posture and people where they're avoiding. Now, let me ask those who are pro ban and pro today's rules. Be honest with yourself for a second. Why, just why, would you be against this beauty? Ask yourself. We have lost this element of judo due to these rules. And again, they, it wasn't the norm. It, this phenomenon that uh, people talk about, the, the bent over and the rigid judo, 
it wasn't a strong enough phenomenon to really go after it and hammer it. It was just basically a little bit in the minus 90 and uh, that was it. I, I sifted through all the categories and watched the World Championships. It was basically just a bit here, for example, this, they're both going at it, both gripping the leg. Yes, both tough fighters, uh, Georgians. Uh, you can expect this brutal style, just like now, they hug the belt, they pick each other, etc. You're gonna have this. But you also have Teddy uh, Riner in the plus 100, you had Inoue also in the plus 100, you had Hausinger in the minus 90. You had a mix of everything, and this is what you need. Why not let them express themselves? And here, again, same thing, he was countered by uh, an inner reap, and uh, that was the finals of the minus 90. So again, of all those that I tried to watch, this was what I could pick up. Uh, a few here and there with their posture bent over because they were losing the gripping battle, not so much because they're scared of their legs getting taken. Uh, and this is, again, something that you're going to have now when you're losing the gripping battle. That's just normal and again it is a referee's job to assess the attitude of the fighter if anytime he says hajime and they go and do this time after time then they should be the wiser every fight is different and a referee has two jobs the first is to just make sure the rules are being applied and the second one is to really dive deep in the nuances the grays of the fight not every fighter has the same attitude or the same intentions when doing the same technique, if you know uh, what I'm saying. So if you have anything to add, please let me know down below. Don't forget to check out my book uh, right below and uh, consider supporting me on Patreon. And check out um, Superstar Judo. If you, I highly recommend you purchase their world championships. I'm not sponsored by them, but... Um, there's a lot of old gems from the past that you can indulge yourself in. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.